I'm Lisa, and welcome to lesson number 11 of our note reading course. In this lesson, we're going to be learning to play all of the flats, all of the black key and white key flats. Yes, there are flats on white keys. We're going to practice them using the Note Rush app and also using our workbook. Let's get started. In our last lesson, we named all of the black keys as sharps. So a sharp raised note up a half step or semitone. We talked about a semitone being the smallest distance between any two keys. So going from a black key to a white key, and they're easiest to see up at the back here. We can go from a white key to another white key. That's a half step. So a semitone or a half step is the smallest step. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning to name the black keys as flat. So this is the symbol for a flat, and when placed in front of a note, it lowers the note by a semitone or a half step. So if we have the note E and we add a flat in front of it, it becomes E flat. So we're going to go down to this black key and call it E flat. So you can see on the piano keys here that I've labeled all of these flats. Um, we can go from B down a half step to B flat. We can go from A down a half step to A flat. We can go from G down a half step to G flat. Now we also have some other black keys over here. We have E going down to E flat and D going down to D flat. But you'll notice that I have left off these white keys. I haven't put a flat near either of these notes. That's because that's part B of the lesson today. Part A is going to focus on those black key flats, which are very common when you're playing beginner level music. Uh, less common are the white key flats. They become more common the longer you play. So let's talk about those. In the case of the note F, if we go down a half step, the smallest possible amount, we're going to land on the note E. That note E is a half step or semitone below F and can also be called F flat. So going down a half step from F can take us to F flat or E. And going down from C, we also don't have a black key to the left. So we can call this note C flat. I almost wrote B on there because it is also B, but in some cases we'll call it C flat. So the first part of this lesson is just going to focus in on all of the black key flats. We're going to do some pencil practice and there are also four different note rush drills that you can use. We can work on just the treble clef flats if you want some extra practice there, just the bass clef flats. You can work on all of the flats of the grand staff. And there's also a QR code here for a review which includes all of the black key flats plus all of the white keys that we've learned up to and including this lesson. So let's go ahead and uh, do a drill here using the grand staff flat. So that's all of the flats, no white keys. I'll go ahead and load the drill. All right, so you can see here that there are no Fs or Cs um, in this particular drill because we're not gonna be naming any of the white key flats. We're just sticking with the black keys. So I'm gonna tap on the uh, yellow play button at the bottom and then again to calibrate my instrument. And here I have D flat. Now we're going to go down to G and find this G flat, lower to half step, way up high, another G, lower to half step, and we have B flat, and E flat, and A flat, D flat. As you go, you'll have to think less and less about the original note, you can just go straight to that black key. All right, so let's go ahead and do some pencil practice with these notes, apparently I just sang that note, um, and then we'll come back and practice with the white key flats as well. So back to the workbook, you can get the codes for the note rush drills and the workbook at pianovideolessons.com slash note rush. And um, all of the answers to all of these uh, exercises are at the back of the book. So you can go ahead and check your work. So in this exercise, pencil practice, we're going to be adding our own flats in front of the note and then naming the note as a flat. Just as with sharps, it's important to draw these properly. So we know that this is a space note and so we want the little belly of the flat, that little bump out section, to be in the same space as the note. So it looks like it's also that same note. If I was just to draw the flat by itself, it doesn't even need a note. I can tell that that note is um, A flat, but I wouldn't 
put just the flat because then I wouldn't know how long the note should be. You might say, why don't we just do flats? Why do we put the symbol? Well, because we need to know if it's a whole note or a half note or a quarter note. So again here, we need to make sure we put the line and the bump in front of the note. When we name the note, we name the letter first and put the flat afterwards. So that's A flat, and this is D flat. And back here you can see G flat and E flat. So you can go ahead and name all of these notes and uh, then you can play them on your instrument. And then we can keep on going. There's lots of practice in the book. And then here we have some notes that are going to include the white key flats. Not all of them, but some of these will be white key flats. This is the second half of the lesson. So this is um, 11B, so lesson 11, part B. So again, we're just gonna add flats in front of these notes and name them. And then occasionally we're going to run into a flat that is a white key. So let's see how long this takes. We've got A flat. All right, here's our first one. So a flat in front of C turns it into C flat and you can see that it is right here, C flat, also B. Um, here's another one. So putting a flat in front of F and then that's going to be F flat on the piano keys. All right, so let's go ahead and do a note rush drill that uses the white key flats as well. And again, this, this is over your head, don't worry about it. Just focus on the drills from the first part of this lesson. Come back to these later if you need to. All right, so I've loaded the drill here with the QR code and you can see that there are no notes skipped. There's no missing Fs or Cs. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this drill. I'm first gonna press the yellow play button and then the one in the middle, it'll calibrate right away with a white key. All right, so now we have B, mm, we sang B flat, now we have E flat and C flat and G flat and F flat D flat C flat another C flat down here D flat another C flat now we have C flat up here B flat G flat D flat and again, you'll get faster at these and not necessarily have to think about the first note before you think of the actual key. Didn't hear me, I didn't play loud enough. All right, so go ahead and practice your notes. Use the Note Rush app, use the workbook, and then come on back to lesson number 12. Yes, number 12, where we're gonna review everything, all of the sharps, all of the flats, all the white key sharps, all the black key sharps, all of the line notes and space notes all of this, everything, all at once. <laughs> all right, I'll see you soon.